If you see this guy washing a coach in direct sunlight behind me, you may think we're pretty crazy, but today I want to show you our secret at how we're able to wash black RVs in direct sunlight in the Arizona summer heat. Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. Today I want to talk to you about deionized water. I want to tell you where to get it, what it does, why you should use it when you're washing a coach, and how much it costs. The tool that I use to make sure that the water really is deionized and is going to dry spot free is a TDS meter. Now, this meter measures parts per million, and you can order these online. I think they're between $20 and $40. This particular meter is made by HM Digital. It's called the TDS EZ. So I'm going to test a few different types of water today and show you my secrets about deionized water. I'm going to go to the back of my detail van here and show you the DI water that we're using. So I'm going to put, this is coming right out of our water tank. I've got this nifty little spigot hooked into my water tank so that I can test the water before we use it on a coach and this is what you're looking for is triple zeros that's what it's reading it's triple zero parts per million when you're detailing your coach you want to always check the water make sure it is triple zeros i have seen other companies say that you can use up to 40 or 50 parts per million i wouldn't recommend anything over 006 or 007 to wash your coach. And that's how we're able to get away with washing these black coaches. Now let's go look at a couple other types of water and see how many parts per million are in those types of water. Now I'm gonna check the parts per million of the water at the RV park here in Arizona. So we've tested a few different types of water so far while I was on the road today. We tested the water in my detail van. We saw that that was triple zeros parts per million. And then we tested the water at the RV park and it was like 330 something. Now I'm gonna test a gallon of distilled water and a gallon of drinking water as well as the tap water here at my house. So I just poured a cup into the distilled water And the distilled water is reading 001 on the meter. Now I'm gonna test the regular drinking water that I picked up while I was out on the road detailing today. And that's showing 007 or 006 parts per million. And the tap water is reading 452 parts per million. So as you can see, it's very important to know what kind of water you're using before you wash an RV. If you try to wash an RV with the wrong water, you could do serious damage. There is chlorine, calcium, iron, all kinds of different minerals in regular water. So if you spray that water onto an RV, especially black paint and the water evaporates, it's gonna leave all of those deposits behind. So calcium, chlorine, that's gonna be all the white stuff you see left behind if you have sprinklers. The Pure H2O, the laboratory grade deionized water that we use, dries completely spot free because when the water evaporates, it leaves no minerals behind. So if you're gonna be detailing anything, especially high-end motor coaches, I would never recommend touching anything without deionized water. It's very important. Honestly, I was a little bit reluctant to share this information because this is one of the key factors to my business and this is one of the things that has made my detailing business successful. I've paid a lot of attention to what kind of water I use on every single job. I'm meticulous about testing my water to make sure that we never touch a coach with water that has minerals in it. So th this, is, this, is my, this is my big secret to success in the detail world. This is how I've been able to meet all kinds of people, detail all kinds of coaches, 
Um, this is the secret sauce that has made my job a lot easier. So I didn't want to share it at first because it's really kind of my, it's one of the only things that I have that's really a huge advantage over any competitor. So I'm at a point in business though where I have so much work that I'm happy to share all of the information I have and I've put in 11 years of the detail game, grinding it out every day, washing RVs, detailing RVs, cars, you name it, I've done it all. And over that 11 years of putting in work day in and day out, I've uh, learned some of these tricks. And I'd have to say that over those 11 years in the detailing business, this is the best secret that I could share with anybody that's thinking about detailing professionally. So there is no inexpensive way to get deionized water. In my 11 years in the detailing business, I have searched all over to try to find the best way to get deionized water, and it is not going to be cheap. I have tried buying my own bottles and then buying the resin separately, and it was really a hassle. You have to change out this, this resin. It smells like fish. It's really nasty. It's messy. You've got to have pillowcases to pour the resin in so that the water will drain out without the resin draining. And then it's just, it's just a huge mess. So um, I've, I've done away with that. I commercially use deionized water and I've been doing business with the same company for 11 years now. And I've even shopped them and try to do other stuff. I think I'm kind of grandfathered in. So I recently tried to get one of my buddies set up with the company that I use and they told him that it would be about a $5,000 minimum per year that he would need to spend for them to do business with him. They primarily provide water filtration for hospitals and laboratories and stuff like that. And fortunately I do enough business with them that uh, I'm able to lease my bottles from a commercial unit, but most of you aren't planning on spending 5,000 bucks a year. So I want to tell you about a few other options to get deionized water. And no matter how much money you spend on it, it's crucial when you're washing a black coach in direct sunlight. If you try to wash a black coach in direct sunlight without deionized water, you are going to harm the paint. If you have a RV detail guy that's washing your coach for like a hundred bucks in Arizona, there's a really good chance that he's not able to use real laboratory grade deionized water. The water here is so hard and the filtration necessary to get deionized water and wash an RV and get it all done for a hundred bucks is just really tough. Now, if you've got an older rig that already has water spots on it, you may not need to worry about it as much um, as far as damaging your rig, but if you wanna wash it without getting water spots everywhere, you're going to need deionized water. So a few of the places that RVers can get deionized water are On The Go. That's a place that you can, it's a website, I believe they're out of Indiana, and you can buy the bottles and you can buy the resin separately. It's definitely really expensive. I've tried it before. It just wasn't cost effective for my use. There is also the Simple Chuck by the company Spotless. I believe they were formerly CR Spotless and then shortened to just Spotless. And they've offered their products at Costco. And you know if Costco puts their name on anything, you know it's a good value. Now, David Bott made a YouTube video. You send back to them. Pull these out, you put them in the box. Close the box up, send it out, put your new cartridges in. And I'll post the link in the description uh, to that video about the simple chuck. It's very easy to use. When your water goes bad, you just send it in the cartridge and they send you a cartridge back so that you've got a fresh cartridge and you don't have to mess with changing the resin yourself. So one bad thing about the simple chuck is I recently read in a Tiffin forum that the cost went from $89 a cartridge to $144 a cartridge. So I'm always on the different forums online trying to find the best information. And recently I saw a gentleman saying that he was really happy with this DI rinse. I'll show you here, this is what the Facebook post looks like, so. So 
So a gentleman was saying that he recently acquired that and he was really happy with it. Now the price of this is $500 or a little bit more and that's many gallons of water. So that's just what I saw on the Tiffin forum, but uh, that, that's another DI setup. Dollars, I'm thinking that the Simple Chuck would probably be similar cost-wise if you were to get three cartridges at $144 a piece. If you're worried about cost, DI water probably isn't for you, but if you really want to make your job of washing an RV easier, I highly recommend it. It's much easier than having an army of labor trying to dry your coach behind you. So deionized water is definitely the way to go if you're gonna wash your RV. I made a video about washing your RV with five gallons of water a week or so ago. It's gotten a lot of great responses. I greatly appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of the subscribers. And if you wanna see more good RV related content, please make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna do my best to get good information for you guys. So. Hope you enjoyed this video.